Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. This is John. I've uh, got a great project that I just got done with. And as you know, if you've been with my channel for a while, I've uh, put up videos on Milwaukee Tools. This is my pack out wall. If you have, if you see anything here, I've probably had a video on it. So what I'm doing today is I made a toolbox out of a file cabinet. Okay, this is a big cabinet. I forget how, how wide it is. Uh, let's see here. Excuse my uh, not knowing here. Forty-two inch cabinet. Okay. So what I did is I picked this up off of the uh, next door site, and I found out when we went when a buddy of mine and I went and picked it up, it was way heavy. The lady had taken the dividers out. And in the back of it, when we when I got it home and put it on the sawhorses to sand it down and paint it, there was this. This is 27 and a half pounds. You can hear it. Listen to this. That's 27 and a half pounds in the back. It's got two screws and it's in the back of these units so they don't fall over. Plus there's a safety feature with these where you can only open one drawer at a time. So if you open both drawers, it's going to fall over. Kind of like the, when kids get on there or open it up. So she didn't have the key for it, but I ordered a key online on her uh, keys, keys or something.com. So I got a regular Han. This is a Han unit, by the way, H-O-N. And what I did is I sanded it down. And then I scuffed it up with the uh, scotch bright, except for the face on this one. I skipped that step. I forgot about it. It was getting uh, a little cooler at night, and I wanted to get the paint on so it would, you know, set. Uh, I didn't know what the cold would do, but I kind of rushed it. You can't tell. It's, it worked out great. So what I did is turn this into a toolbox, like guys are doing on YouTube. So what I got here, this is, I'll show you what this is for in a second. So if you have a Pittsburgh set like this from Harbor Freight, it fits in here perfectly. No wiggle room at all, front and back, it's perfect. So these you really don't need in there. So I put the little foam diamond plate stuff on the bottom, not the little squares, I took it off of a mat, so it's one piece all the way, and it turned out perfect. So it's not so loud in the bottom. So I put all my drills and impacts and everything right here, and there's more in the bottom half and the other half of this is on the bottom and what I did is I just pulled out the uh, the uh, pin for both of those and you know what this this that's a lot of tools in here but look how perfectly that it doesn't it's it's so perfect it probably has a great weight limit on it okay this one just catches I think on the bottom but this one's heavy also I've got the uh, some Milwaukee stuff in here. I've got my drill and the other half of this uh, Pittsburgh set. I don't have room for this. I have other, I figure it's more safe in here than it is up here in all their individual spots. Like this one here is for, it's got the foam in there. If you see my channel, I went over that. And then uh, the drill. So all these things, this I didn't want to put in there. And I have the hatchet in the other side. Of course, you don't want that in there because of the grease or the uh, bar oil that comes out of it. So uh, this was a great unit. It turned out great. Tell me what you think of this thing. This uh, Should I went all red? Should I went all black? I think that black sets it all off. And then I got the uh, stickers on the internet. And uh, then here's another one right here that I did. This is a small three drawer. And then uh, here I got just uh, like a junk drawer catch-all. This one's batteries and a couple other things. And this bottom one here is where I'm going to put all my aerosols. Right now I just have stuff in there I just threw in there. I wanted to get this project done and get the car in the garage. But yeah, if you move one of these uh, cabinets, yeah, it's a lot better taking the, the two screws out of the back. There was one here and one here and you take it out and I'm telling you it, that thing will be so much lighter 
and take the drawers out so much lighter to uh, take care of if you find one of these save yourself a ton of money I am so happy that this is all right here all in one I can catch whatever I want and that's something that you have to think about when you do some a garage storage or wall like this is do you want to pack out do you pack out or do you work is this your workshop so if you want to have a, you want to be digging out of these all the time and locking them up or whatnot or do you want to just be able to have everything out here and grab something you know I, I want to grab here okay ratchet wrench I could go through the sizes and this I have on my uh, channel too how this how these ratchet wrenches sit in here check out that video and uh, yeah if if you if you pack out that's fine but do you want to have everything in front of you um, you're like yeah I got everything in the boxes but now I got it up on the wall well now if I have a job to do now I got to take everything out of the boxes uh, off the wall and put it in the boxes and take it with me so it's kind of like a catch-22 but it's 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 up to you you know if you got a uh, pickup truck and you uh, feel secure with all your stuff in your truck um, so be it but uh, I think uh, what I did here that that was uh, pivotal for me because I was tired of always opening up these boxes looking for something or you know keeping these up and then somebody breaking in my garage or something you know um, eh, nothing safe they'll find they'll, they'll grab your stuff no matter what but uh, yeah so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you uh, subscribe to my channel that would be great I have more content uh, coming I just uh, it's just been a while this uh, wall was a project in the making with me and my twin brother so uh, it's Easter today and I'm gonna spend the rest of the day with the family you guys enjoy yourselves um, and uh, thanks for watching my video thank you